Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for another action-packed, drama-free, exciting jet building action, baby. Brought to you in Philovision. I've been getting a lot done the past couple of days. You might not think it, but I have been. I've got my bulkhead sanded and a, and a coat of clear coat on them. And they don't look bad. I'm going to sand them one more time and give them one more coat. And they're going to be pretty, man. And. I got all my horns made. These are eighth inch, almost carbon. A bunch of layers of carbon. Them's tough, baby. Then, you know, injection molded plastic. And went by Associated today. Picked me up some cloth. Yep, I got me some six ounce. Got me some ten ounce. So I can get all these blasters laid up. I just got a prime, so we're going to set them aside. You no, know, something else we're going to be needing. The old tanks. What to do about the leaky fuel tank issue? Well, guys, we just got to go more layers. I'm going to vacuum bag it, too. I got some Teflon over there in the corner. I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity to use it. Because what we want to do is we don't want to draw every bit of resin out. You know, we don't want to use matting and, you know, we, we want to get the air out. Is what we want to do. And, you know, multiple layers of fiberglass is going to be heavy. So guess what old Bob did? Bam! Went down and got some Kevlar, baby. Oh yeah, they got some of this down at Associated. Now at first they told me it was only about eight bucks a yard. Then I was talking to Mark on the phone, no one knew the price and Mark wasn't in, so they called him. Well, I think it's about 13 or 14. I told him they was done, that dude was $20 a yard. They said, good luck cutting it. And, you know, Butch always told me just get some dull scissors. But man, that's what I've been going through all day. So, what I did is, uh, I'm going to put the scrap. I took the scrap of it. I went down to Lowe's and asked the old boy if they got any heavy duty scissors or shears. And uh, I don't think we got any scissors here. I, don't know. <laughs> so I went looking over there by the tool section and I didn't think that I was going to find anything. You know, they had some snips and some other things, but I took a little scrap with me. And so I then, you know, I seen these, I said, ah, oh, I doubt if they'll work. Check this out, guys. That cuts it like paper, man. <laughs> Cut it really easy, too. You know, I got on the computer today and Googled it. Kevlar shears, you know. Some of them things are $100 a pair. But these got... See what it is? They got serrated edges. Because this Kevlar wants to slide out. And they got to have something with serrated edges, steel. And, uh, you know, I've seen them on the internet for $50 to $100. These things are 14 bucks, man. Just uh, long cut aviation snips and uh, whisks from Lowe's. Man, I did, never thought I'd find anything that worked like that. A million years. So, 
I just bought a couple yards of this plot. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go, you know, I was looking at these other tanks here. You know, these things are light, man. These are the tanks I had in mind. And these things are light. You think that's two layers? Well, these are big tanks. Look at this Kevlar's way light. I think I'm gonna go two layers of Kevlar, one layer of six on the outside, and two layers of Kevlar. <coughs> and I got a bunch of this Teflon stuff. This is like fuel ply, but it's reusable. And uh, it'll let the air escape. And uh, not all the resin. We don't want the resin coming up. You know, I want the resin left behind. I want the air coming out. So that's my plan. And this stuff is actually reusable. So without further ado, you know. But I think Joe's, I just tried to make them tanks too light. And, uh, didn't work out so well. And hey, you don't try, you don't know, you know. Well, I know this Kevlar is a lot lighter than fiberglass.
you know, and I always wanted to experiment a little bit with Kevlar, but I just heard the nightmares about cutting it. Crap. Even the live hinges. Man, makes up bulletproof. <laughs> I just got to cut my sides and uh, play up some parts, baby. We'll be back with more from the shop. <laughs> 